Now in the third month of pregnancy, first we have something like this. I will illustrate the cerebellum here. Then this part is the medulla oblongata. This over here is the pons. Then we had the mesencephalon. Let me color it yellow. Then the telencephalon got much bigger. I will paint it in blue. And then there is the diencephalon here. I will paint it in green. As you can notice, diencephalon and telencephalon got way bigger than they were. Now let's write all this. This was the medulla oblongata. Then this was the cerebellum. And this over here is the pons. The mesencephalon. The diencephalon. The telencephalon. Then there are also other structures that are easy to notice in the third month of the pregnancy. And that's over here. One of them is the pituitary gland. And over here, it's possible to notice that mammillary body is being developed. Now I will draw the brain of a four months old embryo. First, there is medulla oblongata and pons. This over here is the medulla oblongata, and the pons is here. Then there is cerebellum and the mesencephalon. Then comes the telencephalon. And you can still see here the diencephalon. This part of diencephalon looks strange because out of this part you will have the eye developed. Now let me write all this again. This is the medulla oblongata, then the pons, then the cerebellum, then the mesencephalon, And then comes the huge telencephalon part. Already at this point it covers most of the diencephalon, but it does not show its final shape. In next drawing I will pretty much illustrate its final shape. So this was the telencephalon. And then I'll paint it again in green. This part is called diencephalon. And now I will illustrate the brain of embryo in six months. Uh, you can pretty much see its end shape, the final shape. First we had the medulla oblongata. This is the medulla oblongata. And this is the pons. Then the cerebellum. And then we had the telencephalon. and the eye. Now after I photoshop this a little bit it looks like this. So this over here was the eye and this is the telencephalon. Now on the telencephalon you can already notice the sulcus here, 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 here also gyrus here here 
you can notice the temporal lobe, the occipital lobe, the parietal lobe, the frontal lobe, and you can see the insula being closed here. You can still see it, but as the telencephalon around it grows, the insula stays closed inside. That's why we cannot see the insula from outside.